I, I came on a Channel 31 show a number of years ago when yes. a little guy called Rove McManus was hosting and I was like more famous than him yeah. and he's like you know I'd just come back from race around the world and he's like hey will you come on my show Mr. Safran because you know I'm more famous than him <laughs> yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah sure no worries and I come I do his show whatever he wants me to do then I you know I want to do a bit of publicity for Music Jamboree like five years later and he's become more famous than me. On Channel 10, he holds the cards. <laughs> do, you, do you think he returns any of that good karma? No. Oh, really? Can't get on the TV show, can't get on his radio show. You're kidding me. Unbelievable. He still, but he still but, smiles and shakes my hands at the Logies. But not next year. That's not, now that he, <laughs> not now that he's double profit. Is it strange? Well, how do, you, how do you find it these days? Because you've got your own TV show. Mm. You're on the radio. Um, is it weird sort of now like hanging out with those guys that you're sort of, you know, a big fan of? Oh no, you just kind of adjust to whatever. It's, it's a bit like when you're in high school and you hear about uni and it just seems so frigging mysterious. It's like, wow, yeah, right. uni, <laughs> imagine uni. And then you're here for about like a week and a half and then, you know, there's no one after a week and a half of uni kind of going, oh wow, it's uni. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a bit weird, but I also wrote uh, the SeaWorld jingle. When I say yeah. I wrote, Can I Can you remember I was, the lyrics? Yeah, yeah. How which does one, it go? Which one do you want? SeaWorld? SeaWorld, yeah. Uh, SeaWorld, the most amazing world of all. There's... A world where sea lions rule the sea jungle when the, Where the lost and found apartment is the Bermuda Triangle There's a world <laughs> Hang on, of jungle world. doesn't run with triangle! <laughs> it does when you can <laughs> Rebecca Barnard say that. Doing the five pilots, yeah. how did that affect your creativity? Well, what, having them rejected? Yeah, I mean, they, well, it was pretty bad. I personally, I remember I cracked the shits and quit our radio show. <laughs> <laughs> I did it for like four months and I really sort of stropily. Yeah. And, and, then, and then snuck back in the next year. I had people who remember the show would remember it was four months where I'm just going, no, nah, well, well, if nobody wants our comedy, nobody's getting it. <laughs> and you are a big film buff. Mm. So, how do Hang you on, find you, the program? You nerd, just say it. <laughs> no, no, no. You own a laser disc player, don't you? Is that right? Yeah, how did you know that? Is I that on know. my bio? <laughs> it's just something I know. I remember buying You've got a... you really angry with DVD, though. Well, no, I bought a laser disc player in 1990, and everyone was going, oh, no, DVD's coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like 10 years. But I bought it, because yeah. in those days, uh, they were karaoke machines. Like, if you wanted to, you had to import the laser discs, which right. had those commentaries on. And then, you, but you had to buy a karaoke machine. So I remember going to Xanadu, you know Xanadu down in, yes. in Chinatown? And I was actually in that shop buying a laser disc. And you know the front window had that logo, Xanadu? And it yes. was, you, you were really impressed because they'd gone to the trouble of copying the logo from the movie. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Lee wouldn't be happy with that. No, no, no <laughs> you, you don't want to cross Jeff Lynn. <laughs> but he's, um, but you, I was in that shop and a car just pulled up right. and guys got out with baseball bats and just smashed in the front window and drove off and nobody in the shop seemed, well, it's pretty normal. <laughs> and all I remember thinking so is So that's someone, when you grabbed it. <laughs> that's right, and just bolted. That's how I got it. But I just remember thinking someone's going to have to go and rent Xanadu to copy the, to do the logo again. <laughs> Maybe the guys that smashed it in owned a video store yeah. and they were just trying to get another rental up. That's right. Well, they only had like Endless Love and Xanadu <laughs> right. and, and uh, Ice Castle were the only yeah. Well, Matt Matanzi's not doing anything, so maybe <laughs> no. You've done TV, radio, mm. and you are a, a film buff, so was it hard to decide what the film was going to be as your first? Yeah, well, well, no, because the people with the money kind of tell you which one, <laughs> <laughs> which one that they like. Yeah. But, uh, oh, no, no, I'd written about, that was my third Bad Eggs is what it's called, yeah. and that's a really stupid, because if it's really shocking... <laughs> Just imagine what the headlines are going to be. I've only started realising this. <laughs> I was thinking have suggested headlines for your review at the end of the credits. <laughs> Rotten, more like it. <laughs> Drop the eggs. <laughs> Five years of, of radio and you interviewed a lot of uh, special guests over that. Who was the biggest yes. freak? The biggest freak was Shania Twain, who was just mental. Yeah. <laughs> completely drinking her own urine constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Which you shouldn't do because you get that urine moustache. Is she, is she often having a big night on the piss? <laughs> <laughs>